It is only in the last few years that scientists have succeeded in decoding the whole genetic code, or blueprint, for human beings. That development has opened up vast new possibilities for treating diseases. Well, genetics is really at a crossroads right now. We've come from a field where we worked with small numbers of patients, very rare diseases, where now we're actually starting to apply knowledge to the whole population. So some of the big advances over the last 10 or 15 years, first was sequencing the human genome. So if you want to look at the blueprints and you want to see how cells work, what cells make, and when they need to make it, having that genetic code is absolutely invaluable. One of the most exciting new areas is research into the use of so-called stem cells. Scientists have been experimenting with stem cells taken from human embryos. More recently, they have found that under certain circumstances, even mature cells taken from an adult can be turned back into stem cells to replace damaged or diseased tissues. One big advance in the last mm, five to six years is we can now take a skin sample from an individual. And it's very early days, so it's not ready for clinic use yet. But we can then convert those skin cells back into stem cells, grow them up, get them to differentiate into different types of cells, say like a liver cell, a pancreatic cell, even a nerve cell uh, for some day, and then see what types of therapeutic uses we can bring to those. It's still mostly a laboratory-based technology. What we're looking at is the ability to grow synthetic organs, the ability to make skin grafts, the ability to maybe replace pancreatic islet cells in diabetes, um, the ability to regenerate bone marrow in patients, who've either been irradiated or have had chemotherapy or maybe been, even in industrial nuclear accidents, maybe the ability to reconstitute bone marrow for someone who's been exposed to radiation. Lots and lots of uses. The possibilities are almost miraculous, but the science is still in its early stages and Dr. Summer warns patients to beware of those offering cures that sound too good to be true. One thing you have to be careful of, anytime a new technology like this comes along, will often get, I hate to say, sort of an oversell of where it is right now. So I think there are a lot of groups that are offering stem cell therapies that aren't really quite ready for clinical use yet. Some patients have, have paid a lot of money to go abroad for alleged miracle treatments. Correct. And um, a good analogy to this, particularly some of the treatments that involve uh, neurologic cells, would be if you opened the back of your computer and you took a handful of memory chips and dumped them in the back of the computer. Yes, those are memory chips, just like the ones in the computer, but the odds that they're going to fall in the right place to actually make that computer run better are actually quite small. In the meantime, Dr. Summer says Saudi Arabia and the other Gulf states are well positioned to take advantage of modern genetic techniques. Modern genetic science and the young field of stem cell therapy offer the promise of exciting new treatments for a myriad of diseases. This is an area in which the Gulf states have become very active and an area of increasing collaboration between American and Gulf scientists. Burton Bolak, KSA2, Washington.